Hello, welcome to SoGoodReviews.com, the YouTube edition. And this week we take a look at Parkman Wong's Red Shield from 1991. And he delivers this movie in a super solid manner. And that actually warrants some examination as to why it is so. It's a Hong Kong movie after all. Uh, he stays clear of most comedic detours this buddy concept would be expected to head into and instead delivers a script that is essentially just a brief plot synopsis for the film, which is fine. And his work to keep the movie focused is to be applauded too. Uh, showcasing in the opening attack by the STU, uh, Red, Red Shield doesn't necessarily live up to that stamp of being big and, and uh, certainly doesn't make the script slash plot synopsis extend beyond that as we're introduced to our villains. They're very shallow. Uh, ben Lam dresses in a long coat, has violent right-hand men such as Yun Wah uh, beside him, and they will never convince anyone in this movie universe that they're anything but the evil henchmen. Uh, but Parkman Wong has a nice efficient grip on the action entertainment he's in charge of delivering and he moves equally efficiently through the downtime between action the movie has uh, as uh, he's now focusing on the neglected women uh, of the respective relationships of Danny Lee and uh, Lung Kai An. And Actor Danny Lee shows the best chops here as he's made to fit the one-tone storytelling much better than uh, Lung Kai An. And Lee's character Loy is uh, high on work ethics and low on communication at home, despite having a huge communication center in his living room, and that's a sign, obviously. And since Danny is a talented performer, his subtle facial expressions uh, talking how, about how difficult Loy find, finds it to be a home man to adjust, uh, especially when his wife is now uh, pregnant. Uh, that's a, that's an endearing, uh, endearing thing to look at. And uh, in the other unit, uh, Lung Kayan is mostly dragged into a light, a slight comedic side to a film that is not necessary. He's a suspicion of, of his wife to a high degree, as she, he thinks he's, uh, she's cheating. And this sitcom-esque banter rarely fits, actually. And uh, even if it doesn't take a huge leap into classic, contrasting Hong Kong cinema moods. Uh, what's compelling about Lung's performance, though, is uh, it's a combination of him being timid as a cop and trying to be very... Uh, very much like an authority as a husband, and he often fails in, in the latter, uh, in the latter uh, character mood. Uh, Parkman Wong's work as a fairly slick storyteller is ultimately the biggest highlight of the film. He drowns the scenes in color filters, that isn't always a fresh choice, but a kitchen scene involving uh, Lung Kayan chasing a suspect is quite tense, and an epic scenario at a refugee camp is genuinely distressing and scary as the cop ventures into hell, basically. So, sum, sum it up. Some violence with chainsaws, going against your superiors, and heroic bloodshed shootouts later, Red Shield manages to sink its teeth into the genre fairly well and delivers solid results on pretty much every front equally, so that warrants a recommendation.